Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. I'm Teacher Reg, your virtual teacher. Today, we are going to study and describe the changes in solid materials when they bend, cut, press, or hammer. Solid materials have different properties, such as size, shape, texture, color, weight, and volume. Solid materials can be changed in many ways, such as bend, wherein force is applied to shape the materials into curve. Like for example, bending a metal spoon. Observe what will happen to the metal spoon after I bend it. So the metal spoon change in size and shape. Another one is the hair clip. Observe again as I bend the hair clip. It also changed in size and shape. Is there a new material form? The answer is no. There is no new material form. Second is cutting. It is an action of dividing object by using sharp edge object like knife or scissors. We are going to use a pair of scissors and a knife. So we have here a piece of paper. Observe what will happen to the paper if I will cut it using the scissor. So while cutting the paper, what have you observed? The paper changed in size and shape. Next is using a knife. Observe what will happen to the ginger if I will cut it using the knife. Observe what happened. So the ginger change in size and shape because of cutting. Next is pressing. Pressing is applying pressure to flatten and shape an object. Example is an empty box. Observe what will happen to the box if I will press it. Okay, the box change in shape and texture. Next is a clay. Observe again what will happen to the clay if I will press it. Observe the size and shape as well as the texture of the clay. Then compare it after pressing it. Now look at the shape the size and the texture of the clay after pressing it. Is there a new material form? No, there is no new material form. Only the physical appearance of the clay and empty box is changed. Solid materials can be changed through hammering. Hammering is an action using a hammer. Example. Hammering a bottle cup. Observe what will happen to the bottle cup if I will hammer it.
So the texture, the shape is change. Another one is hammering an empty tin can. Observe again what will happen. The tin can change in size, shape, and texture. Remember, solid materials can be changed in many ways, such as bending, cutting, pressing, or hammering. Such actions may change the material's size, shape, and texture. But no new material is formed, only the physical appearance was changed. Let's try to answer this activity by choosing the letter of the best correct answer. Are you ready? What material can be bent? A key, B coin, C cable wire, and D laptop. Again, what material can be bent? A key, B coin, C cable wire, D laptop. You only have 10 seconds to choose the correct answer. Your time starts now. Number two, what changes happen to the plastic cup after pressing? A, change in size only. B, change in size and color. C, change in shape only. And D, change in size, shape, and texture. Again, what changes happen to the plastic cup after pressing? A, change in size only. B, change in size and color. C, change in shape only. And D, Change in size, shape, and texture. Your time starts now. Number three. What you can do to change the physical appearance of a cotton? A. By pressing. B. By hammering. C. By bending. And D. By coloring. Again, what you can do to change the physical appearance of a cotton? A. By pressing. B. By hammering. C. By bending. D. By coloring. Your time starts now. Number 4. What changes happen to a sheet of galvanized iron after hammering? A. Change in color. B. Change in physical appearance. C. No changes happen. And D. New material form. What changes happen to a sheet of galvanized iron after hammering? A. Change in color. B. Change in physical appearance. C. No changes happen. And D. New material form. Your time starts now. Number 5. In what ways can you change the size, shape, and texture of a banana? A. By cutting. B. By coloring. C. By folding. And D. By freezing. In what ways can you change the size, shape, and texture of a banana? A. By cutting. B. By coloring. C. By folding. And D. By freezing. Your time starts now. Now, let's check your answers. What material can be bent? The correct answer is letter C, cable wire. Next, what changes happen to the plastic cup after pressing? The correct answer is letter B. The plastic cup after pressing change its size and 
color. Number three, what you can do to change the physical appearance of a cotton? The correct answer is letter A, by pressing. Number four, what changes happen to a sheet of galvanized iron after hammering? The correct answer is letter B, change its physical appearance. Five, in what ways you can change the size and shape of a banana? Letter A, by cutting. So for our last activity for today's lesson, give one example of solid material that you can find at home for each ways by which you can change the physical appearance of the material. Just follow this format. Give one example of solid materials for each ways. So one example for bend, one example for cut, one example for press, and one example for hammer. Just comment your answer in the comment section after this video. I hope you learned something new today. See you in our next virtual class. If you learned something today, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video. And for those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga susunod na video lesson.